Pennsylvania State Police today chased a man through four western Pennsylvania counties from Pittsburgh to Meadville and then back to Volant before the man killed himself. And we learned he's connected to two different house fires 100 miles apart. 27 First News reporter James Santelli made phone calls all night to put this story together. He joins us now live in the studio with what we uncovered. And San and Erica, there are a lot of different parts to this story. A possible domestic assault, those two fires, and a man who police say ended his own life in Mercer County. So let me take you through hour by hour of what happened. We start around 6 o'clock this morning in Shaler Township, just outside of Pittsburgh. A neighbor sees a house on fire and calls 911. And when I came out, my neighbor was out, she was screaming, and there were flames at the front door. The neighbor says a man and a woman lived there, but no one was inside during the fire. Then police get a tip that the woman who lives there showed up at a nearby hospital and that she may have been assaulted. Police start investigating a domestic dispute. The police, yeah, they just said that there was a domestic over there overnight. And, you know, we didn't hear anything, naturally. Police start looking for this man. William James. 8 o'clock now, about two hours later, another fire outside of Meadville, Crawford County. Police say William James or his family owned that house. Later in the morning, Pennsylvania State Police find James's car in Mercer County. They chase him down to this field off Route 19 in Valance. We learned when police finally stopped his Subaru, they walked up to the car and found that William James had killed himself. And that's what we know so far. I made several calls to Pennsylvania State Police to try to get you more details about it. I have not heard back. I did track down this release from Shaler Township Police. They say the woman William James possibly assaulted was treated and released from the hospital this morning. Live in the studio, James Santelli, First News at 11.